Ryan Michael Esco, staff photographer Texas Tech Red Raiders wide receiver Seth Collins, 22, receives the pass over Baylor Bears cornerback Harrison Hand, 31, during the first half of matchup between Baylor and Texas Tech on Saturday in November. 24, 2018 Edit Ryan Michael Esco, The Dallas Morning News, Editor's Note, This is a first of a five-part series examining issues surrounding the 2019 Texas Tech Red Raiders. Sign up for our free Texas Tech newsletter, Will the Pieces at WR Come Together for the Red Raiders? Lubbock, the Red Raiders are hurting when it comes to returning experienced depth at wideout heading into their 2019 campaign, especially with the loss of Tech's leading receivers in Antoine Wesley, NFL Draft, and Jadeon High, graduation. The pair recorded a combined 2,214 total yards in the air, which accounted for more than half of the team's total passing yardage 4,231. The Red Raiders, a team that finished their 2018 season 5-7 overall and 3-6 in Big 12 play, are expected to have a more balanced attach under new head coach Matt Wells. That still means they'll need to get the job done in the air, to keep opposing teams on their toes. Will Texas athletes step up at wide receiver and tight end in the spring? It's not all bad news, though. The Raiders returned a pair of capable wideouts in junior TJ. Vasher, 6-6, 190, and senior Seth Collins, 6-6, 190. Vasher is the team's leading returner with 54 receptions for 687 yards and 7 touchdowns, while Collins corralled 32 receptions for 317 yards and 2 touchdowns. Can the pair improve on their 2018 season and step up to become the team's new number one and number two receiving threats? Tech also added transfer McLean Mannix from Nevada in December. Mannix caught 50 balls for 875 receiving yards and seven touchdowns in 2018, leading all Wolfpack receivers in yards and scores. He was second on the team in receptions. Tech added some new names to its roster on signing day as well. The Red Raiders signed wide receivers Cameron Cantrell, 6-1, 245, Trey Cleveland, 6-4, 180, and tight end Simon Gonzalez, 6-4, 220, and Travis Koontz, 6-5, 260. The talent seems to be there, but can it all come together for the Red Raiders? There is a lot to be determined for Tech in the spring when it comes with their game. More issue as key spring issue no. 5, what will WR core look like? Key Spring Issues No. 4, coming Wednesday, March 6, Key Spring Issue No. 3, coming Friday, March 8, Key Spring Issue No. 2, coming Monday, March 11, Key Spring Issue No. 1, coming Wednesday, March 13, 